Wax and oil based pencils are amazing for coloured pencil work but sometimes it can be hard to choose between the two. They both have pros and cons and some noticeable differences, meaning that depending on what it is you are drawing, wax are better for certain drawings and oil are better for others. So what if you are a beginner? Which type of pencil should you choose and is one better than the other? Let's compare both types and put these pencils to the test. Let's first talk about layering. Wax pencils are made up of a waxy binder and oil pencils are made up of an oil binder. Binders hold the pigment together and allows it to spread over the surface of the paper. Wax pencils are very soft and almost buttery, so as you lay them over the paper, they spread smoothly and softly and are great for creating layers. It is so easy to lay colours over the top of each other and wax pencils are particularly good for the layering and burnishing technique because they're soft and easy to blend and can flatten the tooth of the paper. Oil pencils are a much harder lead so as you sketch over the surface of the paper you might notice that they feel a little bit scratchy and they aren't as soft as wax based pencils. They can achieve good layering results but they aren't as creamy as wax based pencils so it takes a lot more effort and layers to achieve the same layering consistency as wax pencils. Although wax pencils are softer and easier to layer, they do produce a lot of wax bloom due to the waxy binder spreading over the paper. This wax bloom creates a shine as soon as the light hits it, whereas you don't get a wax bloom with oil pencils. Depending on which brand of pencils you get really determines the type of build quality you will get with coloured pencils. There are definitely some brands that are better than others. As a general rule of thumb, the lead inside the wood casing should be centred as an off-centred lead puts strain on the pencil and can break. You also want to invest in pencils with a barrel on the end of them which protects the lead inside the casing and if the lead is quite brittle it can easily break. Wax pencils are more prone to breaking or shedding pencil residue as they are softer so they'll grind against the paper more. If you aren't careful the tip of the lead can just snap so I find I get the best results when I'm using them gently. Because they are quite soft they do become blunt quite quickly and they will create a lot of shedding so pencil particles will fall onto the paper a lot and I have to keep brushing this away with a flappy brush to stop it from staining a drawing. Oil pencils are a harder lead so they retain their point for longer and there isn't as much pencil residue that falls from the paper. Let's take a look at the cost of each type of pencil now and their colour range. Wax based pencils are more popular than oil pencils so you will find there are a lot more brands and variety with wax based pencils. They are definitely easier to find and because they are more common than oil pencils they are often a lot cheaper. Oil based pencils are less common so they are normally created as a line of pencil. Because of this they are more pricey but the good thing about both wax and oil pencils is that you can buy them in open stock so as individual pencils or in small sets so that will enable you to keep the cost down. Both wax and oil pencils come in similar size sets so they are very on par with each other in terms of colour range. I find you get a good range of earthy flesh and vibrant tones in both wax and oil sets but if you are using a small set of pencils it can be a bit limiting to how many colours you have. However you can expand your colour range by mixing colours together so even if you have a small set you can get a good range of colours. Okay, so what about blending with a solvent or paint thinner? Because there are different binders in wax and oil pencils, some blending techniques work better for certain types of pencil. A solvent helps break down pencil pigment and blends out coloured pencils. You get good results with wax pencils and I find it's really easy to blend the pencils but I do find you can lift quite a bit of pencil off the paper so this can leave drawings looking patchy and blotchy so it's best to use a small amount of solvent with wax pencils or use a different type of blender with them. A solvent is best suited for oil pencils as less pencil pigment leaves the paper and I find you don't really need to keep adding layers and layers of colour after you've used a solvent. The colours are much more vibrant and softer than wax pencils and you can get really nice results using a solvent with oil pencils. 
A colorless blender is a dry blending technique that is used a lot by colored pencil artists. It is another great way that you can blend colored pencils easily and quickly and I use this technique a lot in my drawings. It is so easy to blend wax pencils with this technique as the binder is so soft and creamy and easy to burnish into the tooth of the paper. I don't need to apply a heavy pressure with the blender because the binder breaks down easily and gets smooth results. Dry blending techniques aren't as effective with oil pencils because the pencil pigment is harder and scratchier, so a wet blending technique like a solvent is better to really thin and blend the pencil binder. However, you can blend oil pencils with a colourless blender, it just takes more time and pressure to blend the colours. Another effective way for blending coloured pencils is by using a white pencil to blend over colours and burnish them into the paper. The white pencil from the Faber-Castell Polychromos oil pencils is quite translucent so I find it's really hard to blend out using this colour and you don't really get good results. I haven't really tried blending with another white oil pencil so there might be other white oil pencils that are better for this technique. I find a white pencil in wax pencil sets is a lot more opaque so the white will show up a lot better on the paper. This is good because it makes it easier to blend coloured pencils and soften down the pencil binder and this technique is really good for blending skin because skin is smooth and soft. There is a common misconception that you cannot mix wax and oil pencils together in drawings and this is definitely not true. You can combine both types of pencils and get great results in your drawings. I will often use both types of pencils and I find I use wax pencils for layering, a lot of colour and oil pencils to help with defining textures and features. It also is so easy to mix and blend colours together as well. A big difference between these two pencils though is how well they sharpen and how good they are for details. Wax pencils are a softer lead so sometimes they can be hard to sharpen and they don't retain a sharp point for as long as oil pencils because the lead gets blunter quicker. Oil pencils are a harder lead so they are easier to sharpen to a fine point and they will retain that point for a lot longer because they don't wear down as fast. Wax pencils do struggle with getting in fine details because they become blunter quicker. As they become blunter you will notice the sharp lines become thick and fuzzy whereas oil pencils stay sharper for longer and maintain crisp and sharp lines and details. Light fasteners is a pencil's ability to resist against fading in natural light, so you want to invest in pencils with a good light fast rating. The light fast rating for each type of pencil really depends on the brand itself. Caran d'Arche Luminance pencils are wax pencils and have the best light fast rating on the market. All of their pencils are rated at very good or excellent, so this means those colours will last for a very long time even if they are exposed to natural light. Prismacolor, which are wax pencils, aren't the best for light fasteners. There are some pencils which are good, but a vast amount of pencils which are poor. This means if you use pencils with a poor light fast rating, then your colours will fade or discolour very quickly and you really don't want that. Polychromos are oil pencils and they have a good light fast rating. In a set of 120, only two pencils fall into the average or fair rating, but all the other pencils are very good or excellent. So again, these drawings will last a long time and will be resistant against fading. So overall, I'm sitting on the fence a bit because I think both wax and oil pencils are brilliant and I think you will be happy with either set of pencils. Each type of pencil may be slightly better at certain things, but all round, both types are amazing and I use both in my drawings. I hope you did enjoy today's video and as always, keep creating and I will see you soon. Bye guys!